Guys, congratulations on a wonderful ensemble flick, just like Little Miss oh, Sunshine. Thank you. It was thank just you. an awesome movie. Um, I'm curious. Uh, your background is in some uh, music videos and commercials and stuff. How, how do you, you know, what do you bring to the table from different mediums to a film? Mm. Well, love of music. I think music is, oh, we always listen to a lot of music when we're prepping a film. We, you know, collect songs that feel, have some of the feelings in the movie. And it's just, you know, music always inspires us in what we do. So that's... I think we've, you know, uh, we've had a lifetime of working with music, so that's very important. And the score in this movie is really key um, because there's a lot of things that both characters are feeling, and the music helps bring that to life. So we worked with the same composer as Little Miss Sunshine, and we had a 60-piece orchestra doing the score. So it's a very big score for kind of our small movie. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I would say working in commercials, you. you for one, you just get to work a lot. So you get to be on a set and sort of practice your craft and work with great crews and you know get to use the latest equipment. And so it just kind of keeps us um, more agile in some ways as filmmakers. And then you also learn to kind of tell a story in an economic way. You know, usually sure. with commercials, it's 30 seconds. <laughs> it's nice to have an hour and a half, you know. But so I think it's actually just a great thing in terms of the craft of filmmaking. Okay. So when did you get the script and what really spoke to you about it? Well, we got the script very early. Um, Paul and Zoe were working with the producers of Luma Sunshine, Ron and Albert, and they came to us and we immediately responded. I mean, it was, it was something that we felt we could really run with. We loved the, uh, what film sort of presented itself when we read the script. And I think, you know, we loved her writing and we felt like this is a great story, it's a great angle to explore relationships and maybe something we haven't quite seen before and that's always exciting. Okay. Uh, now you've worked with Paul before. Now can you talk about casting another great ensemble? Well, that's the biggest, most important thing I think that we do is, is putting an ensemble together and, you know, in terms of the tone of the movie, the ensemble is what really ropes that in and um, you know you get those real performances and we love actors that can both be funny but also play things very real mm -hmm. so so we got really one of the best Annette Benning you know Annette's a great dramatic actress and I don't know if people understand how good she is at comedy but she's well, amazing she was amazing funny in American Beauty like, mm -hmm. well yeah I know yes that's and, true that's true you know and dramatic but I mean she has that range that's so incredible and, um, and it was really fun to put her together with Antonio and just we knew that was going to be the the kind of you know that relationship would just make Calvin crazy you uh -huh. know like his mother is just so happy because she's with this awesome guy you know you so, know I think yeah. there are a lot of discoveries in this movie I think people will be amazed at what Zoe brings Zoe is Ruby mm -hmm. and then I think Chris Messina is someone that people have seen in other movies but he's really an amazing actor and you see him go to places maybe you haven't seen before. And he was a really essential part of this cast in terms of kind of being the audience in the film where he, once he buys into the concept, the story takes off. Okay. Well, that was going to be one of my next questions because I'm a big fan and I'm, I'm curious, how is he not a mega star yet? I no, know. I know, I know. I, well, you Hopefully know, he will be after this. I, I hope so. you know, I mean, he has I, like you know, seven movies this yeah, year. He no, has a no, lot no, and TV a, shows. Uh -huh. Chris is so funny, but he's also so real and grounded. And, you know, he says things in this movie that you want to say. You know, mm -hmm. he, he's... He voices a lot of, I think, what's going through people's heads as they're watching the story. And, and he does it in such a grounded, real way. I mean, and I think he's hilarious. Like, so for us, he was the guy, even though he and Paul look nothing alike. <laughs> yeah, they are brothers, yeah. That's a yeah. tough sell. Um, so when you have the screenwriter as the star, how much interpretation do they have and how do you, you know, work as a husband and wife team with someone who's starring? Well, yeah. Zoe was really good about letting go of her role as screenwriter. I mean, we worked for six months prior to shooting to really get the script where we wanted it to be and where she felt good so that when it came time to shoot, she could Leave just that. be an actress and, okay. and she was really good she never 
She's super collaborative, and I think she was, you know, they they chose us to direct the film, so they were they trusted us with the material, which is a great thing. Yeah, I mean, being an actress in a movie like this was so demanding that she had to kind of she let just go. Took, but we okay. stuck very close to the script that we all worked on. You know, we got it to a place where we were happy, and, and then we could really just follow the script, you okay. know, and get the best version of that on film. Okay, uh, you said that music is very important to you, and when you found something, or when the score turned a certain way, did it affect the way that the script was, or vice versa? Well, the music is a really important part of, of setting the tone, or, or sort of cementing the tone of the film. So we had our composer in the edit uh, suites with us for five months, and so we would do sort of a back and forth. We'd give him a scene, He'd write something, we'd bring the music in, we'd sort of recut and rework things to the music sometimes, and it was a very close relationship and sort of back and forth collaboration. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, it was a wonderful movie. I can't wait to see it again. Uh, last question, what's next for you guys? What are you working on? <laughs> well, we're working on a, film, uh, a pilot now with Dan Klaus. Who okay. For HBO. He did eight. Uh, he did eight ball. The comic book and Ghost World. He, was, he okay. wrote Ghost World. And he's just a very. It's a very funny and kind of dark series. Okay. So a bit of a turn from the quirky ensemble piece. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's yeah. It, it will be an ensemble though. That's okay. what's sort of fun about TV is you really you do develop your cast of characters and then you just get to keep playing with them and we love ensemble work and I think you know. If we can cast, we can bring back people we've worked with before, that's always great, too. So it's called The Landlord. Okay. Look forward to it. Thanks a lot for your Thanks. time, guys. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks. Nice to meet you. You too. Thank you. Thanks.